I must speak with Morgana to go where she wishes. The living flesh poses is a hindrance, but I must, I must go for our aura. Well, welcome guys. Welcome to the second entry in the Dot Hack game series. Welcome to Dot Hack Mutation. Now, this is the sequel to Dot Hack Infection. <clears throat> it pretty much picks up right where the first game left off. So, um, pretty much what happened in the first game is... Well, we fought Morgana's first phase, Skeef, the Terror of Death. But before that happened, he had actually data-drained Aura, and it looked like she had broken up into three segments and got scattered somewhere around the world. And also, uh, after that happened, a monster, a monster named Cubia was born. So, it's time to find out what happens next. So, I'm going to convert data from Dot .hack infection, and let's get this started. The day that he first played the world. His friend Orca fell into a deep coma as a result of Skate's data drain. Poor Orca. The world isn't just an online game. Something with another purpose is lurking within it. The Book of Twilight, handed to him by the girl Aura, transformed into a bracelet, giving him two extraordinary powers. Data Drain, the power to alter monster data, and gate hacking, which allows him to gain entrance into protected areas. And it was these very same powers that put Orca into a coma. I want to help Orca. With the help of the bracelet, he and his party succeeded in destroying Skaith. However... Jeez. Cubia really is huge, though. No doubt about that. And creepy the boot. Ah. 
好。The true battle was about to begin. So it begins. <clears throat> okay, so we're back. Let me just check my settings real quick. Okay, everything seems to be in order. Okay, so we got some mis uh bleh, we got some emails to read. Uh I'll email you when I need your help, Mistral. I thought once we got the thing with the red wand everything would be solved. It was baseless, but I thought everything would be back to normal. What did we do? Was what we did right? There's no point being negative about it. Let's just believe in ourselves. Might as well be positive about it. The system of the world has been updated to the version 2.90. Flag races have been added, so you can race Grunties you have raised. Okay, so that's neat. I'll just skim read through the news articles real quick. Game coma impossible, says Professor. Pfft, impossible, my ass. Alright, that's not interesting. Okay, so without further ado, let's enter the world once again. Well, once we check the board out, that is. I'm just kind of skim reading for these board posts as well. If you really want to read all these board posts all the way through, please feel free to pause the video. It's just, for the most part, some of these posts are interesting, but some of them aren't. So I'm not going to read every single one out loud. Ultimate is perfect. No problems at all. A flag race will be held in each of the towns where contestants will ride the grunty that they have raised and grab the flags in the town. To participate, raise all three types of grunties that are available in each town. When you have finished, you will receive an email regarding that the flag race. So we can only flag race if we've raised all of the Grunties from that specific server, unfortunately. That's probably something I'll do at the end of the game. Okay, let's enter the world. Hi there, Black Rose. It feels icky leaving it hanging like this. Oh, so you want to go back to the dungeon where we defeated Skeef, huh? 
Alright, and before we head out... Oh, and just so you know, now that this is a new game, all of the NPCs that are running around town now, they're gonna have a bunch of new items to trade. But I'm not gonna do that while I'm recording. I'm gonna wait until this recording session is done, and then I'll try and do a lot of trading in between. That way you're just not seeing me doing all this training, which is kind of boring. Okay, so... When I did off-screen in Infection at the end of the game, I got a couple different... a, a couple different items. Let's see if I can find them. The Rusty Nails is one of them. Now, this weapon actually has minus attack, and it's one of the weakest weapons in the game. These are perfect if you want to be data-draining enemies, essentially. That's their main use. And the Ice Bar... Now, originally, I had said that the treasure in one of the bonus dungeons in Infection... The keywords that you get from the Dot .hack liminality DVD, I thought it actually led to the axe, but... I was wrong. It actually leads to this, this thing called an ice bar. Now, um, if we trade this to an NPC in this game, we will get Pyro one of Pyrrhus' best weapons, I believe. So it's a good thing I got that. And I think that's pretty much it. Just the rusty nails in the ice bar. Oh, I did get a, like, a level 8 rare armor as well. But it's not very good. Okay, now, I wonder if it's gonna let me go to the Delta server. good it is. Where I'm going to be heading first is Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground, because we haven't been there in a while. Oh, it's at the top. So let me... But yes, if we head to Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground right now, I believe we should get, like, an extra cutscene. Let's see if I'm right. Just that. Huh. They're gone. I wonder who they were. I feel like we've met before. Memory of a wave master, huh? So that cutscene was actually. So, uh, a ghost memory of from dot, the dot hack sign anime um that's when bear and mimi Ru were confronting uh, sukasa to find out if he was actually a boy or a girl because they suspect that he's actually a girl in real life but uh because morgana had trapped him in the game and was filling his head well her head with only negative emotions 
she had convinced Tsukasa that he, he, she was actually a he. And that big yellow thing was his guardian that Morgana gave to him as a gift to get him to trust her. It's kind of hard to explain everything that happened in Dot Haxign, but essentially that's what happened. At least for that cutscene. Now, there are a few other cutscenes that happen there at Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground throughout the game. They only happen at specific points, though, and the first one is right when you start, to, when you start mutation. Okay, so, let's go ahead and add Black Rose to the party. We can only add Black okay. Rose right now. That's what our armors, armor and equipment's like at the moment. Okay, so we're going back to Chosen Hopeless Nothingness. Let's go. The bracelet, it's not shining. Probably because Skeef is dead. It has no reason to shine now. Oh, thank you, Black Rose. Okay, so let's make our way back to the dungeon where Skeef was. doesn't seem to have changed. Hmm. I don't know, Black Rose. Let's investigate. Amateur egg. All of the magic portals definitely seem to be gone, though. Oh, and your party members have some different equipment to trade with them as well. It's not very good. That one's okay. I'll have to trade with Black Rose and give that to Mistral. Because that'll definitely be an upgrade to her healing spell. Yeah, this place is now eerily quiet. Wonder why all the portals are gone. There are no enemies. Nope. Might as well get to the treasure while we're here. No reason not to.
very strange. I wonder if that big thing is still here. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. I'm the one that's asking. Don't ask me, really. But if it was here, could we win? That's... impossible. <laughs> I guess they were talking about Cubia. I don't know if we could beat that thing. Let's see if I can get those bad arrows from her. Yes, I can. Thank you, Black Rose. So that'll be a nice little... Nice little upgrade for Mistral once we finally get her in the party. There, Black Rose. Hey. <laughs> what? Aren't you afraid? Who me? Hmm. I'm not afraid. No way. Well, all right, I am. I'm scared enough for the both of us. My controller is soaked with sweat. So what about you, huh? Yeah, to be honest, I'm terrified. But I can't let that stop me now. You're right. Yep, nothing to do but to just keep pushing forward. It's weird though, after defeating Skeef, nothing seems to have improved in the world at all. Very worrisome. Last two treasure chests, then we'll head down to the fifth floor.
kill you. That is rude. Really, really rude. Sorry. But that graphic on the wall, it... Where? Where? It's my imagination. But it's just that for a moment it seemed to transform. Oh, don't ever scare me that way again. <laughs> It's not funny. Don't you dare smiley at me. <laughs> Excuse me, but didn't something like this happen once before? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I confess. I'm just a newbie that's trying to act big and tough. That's all. Go on. Laugh at me if you want. <laughs> we figured, Black Rose. I want... to ask you something. Now what? You're pissing me off. The reason I'm here is because I want to help Orca. Why are you here? Because... What? 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 Oh, hey. It's Balmung. Haven't seen you in a while. I come here to discover the cause, and I find you again. Explain! And your voice has Explain changed. Explain my ass! You don't know anything! I already told him the other day. Huh? You did? Now that you know, what's the problem? Don't you understand what we're doing? I do understand. But you need to face facts. With you two involved, things get worse. That's how I see it. Am I wrong? <laughs> Man, I hate him. Maybe... Maybe he's just got his own reason when it's different from ours. Maybe. I certainly hope we're not making things worse. Let's go on ahead. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention. When I saw that cutscene at Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground, you probably noticed that Mimi Ru looks a lot like Black Rose, or the other way around. A lot of the characters in this game are like just meant to look the same, just as like a reference to the characters from Dot Hack Sign. Like uh Black Rose kinda looks like Mimi Ru, Orca kinda looks like Bear, and Elk kinda looks like Sukasa. And so, and we'll see more similarities later on. It's a dead end. I guess we can't go back there again. Well, looks like there's nothing else we can do there then. <laughs> 